So today's video needs to start with a little bit of a story. So I just want to tell you, over my six years of YouTube, I have never done a single reaction video. And I was like, hmm, since my school's graduation is coming up, why not do a reaction video for this channel? So I decided to put up a poll up on my Instagram. So if you're not following me, you're a stupid idiot and I hate you. But I set up a poll on my Instagram asking my followers, should I do or do not do a reaction video? And the result is, they wanted me to do it, do they? Yeah, they really did. So this video is my first ever reaction video. And yes, I am reacting to the Bridgeland High School 2023 graduation. And what you're about to see is probably the most emotional I've ever been on camera. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you enjoy. And now, are you Oh, the ready? fun part. I remember this. I hear you. They had are this kind of intro at last year's graduation. Please stand and help us welcome our graduating class of 2023. I mean, do you guys honestly get that feeling where that music just freaking hits you and you get goosebumps? There's the banner. It had that at last year's graduation. There they are, guys. Holy cow. This is crazy. This is honestly bringing me back some memories from my from my graduation. I'm gonna try and recognize as many people as possible, cause... Oh, there's Faith, I saw Faith there. There's Karen! Awesome. Um, Faith, one of the main cheerleaders from um, football. You might have seen, him, seen her from my vlogs. Holy cow, guys. I can't believe it. Hey, there's Jonas, my man Jonas. What's going on? That's awesome. My man Jonas from basketball. Just awesome. I'm gonna miss these guys. I mean, no joke, like the cheerleaders, the basketball guys, they were a big part in my, in my Bridgeland vlogs, honestly. Like a massive part in my vlogs. And fun fact, the um, the Bridgeland Homecoming game is actually the most popular Bridgeland High School vlog on my channel so far. So thanks to you guys for helping helping me get that video to that kind of popularity. Oh, there's Jack Bahar, one of my basketball friends. Man, it's kind of hard to try and spot everybody I know because all the guy, everybody's moving so quickly trying to get to their seats. But I'm trying to, I'm trying to get everybody that I know, I'm trying to mention everybody as much as possible. And I don't even know how many graduates there are because, like I said, Cy Ranch actually had. Wait, hang on. Let me adjust the camera. That was my fault. Um, Cy Ranch actually had the. The highest amount of graduates at Cypher ISD at a total of 922, which is absolutely nuts. I mean, I didn't expect. Oh, there's Carter. <laughs> I I did not I didn't know he was gonna do that. I mean, he is so freaking tall, man. I mean, he's taller than me, to be honest. There's Kennedy Smith. Nice to see Kennedy there. That's awesome. Another big part of, um, Kennedy's another big, um, she's another big part of my Bridgeland football vlogs. And she was also in one of my basketball vlogs. I think it was from the 10 to 15 point deficit to big time win video. There's my man from bowling, Kyle Campbell. Nice to see him. And there's Dominic. Can't wait to see um, Emilio and Dylan. Dylan Journey's a senior, by the way. And actually, all the bowling guys are seniors. 
There's Renee. Another basketball dude. He's, um, he's another one. Oh, there's Jalen. Jalen Anderson. There's Michaela Austin, part of the Claw Crew. <laughs> I wonder if Faith is in the front row or the second row. Wow, look at that guys, holy cow. There's Dalen, my boy Dalen. <laughs> he was another good, he was a good basketball player to be honest. Now I remember in the, there's, I think that that's Kylie if I remember correctly. His name is Kylie Malloy. He was, she was part of the bowling team. Um, like I said about Dalen, he was a good basketball player, to be honest. My god. Man, where the heck is Faith? I don't see her. Oh, there's Brooke. Brooke Hensley. You guys can clearly see her right there. Why are you covering your face, Brooke? I mean, what the hell? Oh, the the cameras changed. So see, this this might be a better angle for me to recognize my my friends. We still have a bit of few that I remember. I know Aiden White, Jillian Sims. God, who else? I I don't know who I who am I forgetting? I don't know. I think I'm, I think that might be it. Because I have a lot of friends who were basically juniors or sophomores while I was in my senior year. And there were a lot of good friends of mine who were... Oh, there's somebody I know. I forgot her name. I don't know what her name is, but I recognize her. I wonder where Jillian is. Jillian is definitely a senior, and where the heck is she? I haven't seen her so far. Oh, there he is! Let's go! Yeah, Aiden! Let's go, baby! I knew he was going to be at the, the last bit of students there. But I didn't see Jillian! Where the hell's Jillian? Oh, there's my boy Sawyer! Yes, Sawyer. That's what I'm talking about. And I didn't know he was in the front row. I didn't see him while he was walking through. Look at that, guys. Holy. Wow. I wish we had like a wide shot of um, all the students. And there's my man, Mike Smith, the principal. Welcome, family and friends, to the commencement exercises for Bridgeland High School's class of 2023. Mike Smith is definitely a great principal. I really liked him I when, Smith, when, I, when I came into Bridgeland. As you have seen, many of our graduates are wearing signs of honor. The summa cum laude, magna cum laude, and cum laude graduates are wearing gold honor cords. In addition, many of our school organizations recognizes their members' outstanding academic achievement with honor cords, drapes. You see many of our graduates displaying these symbols as well. As this, at this time, I would like to acknowledge, um, oh, two. <laughs> at this time, I'd like to acknowledge eight of our <laughs> softball scholar athletes who are not here this evening because they are graduated earlier today as they are currently playing for the Regional Softball Championship at 7 p.m. Oh, nice. I'll just, I'll just clap for them. Hats off In to them for the game. Jada Armstrong, daughter of uh, Darla, and uh, Bernadine Armstrong will be offering the opening remarks. Immediately after Jada provides the opening remarks, the posting of the colors will be presented by Bridgeland High School's Air Force JROTC members 
under the supervision of Lieutenant Colonel Hader Khan and Senior Master Sergeant Michael Claiborne. You guys definitely heard those names in my Viesca, football blogs. The son of Erica and Raphael Viesca will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. After the Pledge of Allegiance, our high school uh, choir under the direction of Christopher Fiorini will sing the national anthem and again and, and until we meet again by Reginald White. Jada, please come to the podium for opening remarks. I don't think I met her before. <laughs> Good evening, class of 2023. Woo My name is Jada Armstrong, and I am honored to be speaking to you all tonight on the celebration of 875 Bridgeland graduates. Woo it was close to Cy Ranch's number, 875 to graduates. Honest, thank you to all of our family and friends and Bridgeland High School staff and administration for supporting us, educating us, and dealing with us these past four years. You all have shaped us into the incredible young adults that we are today. And of course, thank you to my fellow senior bears for making these four years ones that will be remembered for a lifetime. Now, we sure have had a run of it these past four years, haven't we? To kick off our journey, Three quarters into our freshman year, we were locked in our houses, working on ingenuity while mindlessly FaceTiming our friends. And now, three years later, in our first normal year of high school, we're literally hours away from partying. Throughout our senior year, I know all of us have- To me, I thought 2022 from was, was normal. To family or friends of what now? And to be honest, my go-to answer was always, I'm just trying to graduate high school. Well, we're literally minutes away from walking across the stage and graduating. So really, what's next? The simple answer is to follow your passion. Former United States Representative Gabby Gifford said, pursue your passion and everything will fall into place. After walking across the stage, the only thing stopping us from reaching our goals is our She does love. have a point though. We now not only have the freedom to do what we love, but to explore what we love beyond the constraints of a high school classroom. Seniors, some of us have known each other since elementary school, and many of us are just now meeting each other today. Same for me, I've known a lot of my friends since elementary. Our our right. We are all wearing the same blue caps, and we're wearing the exact same blue gowns. We have all put in the work and the effort to complete this chapter and move on to the next. Even so, every person in this whole building is wondering, what now? Well, now, Bears, we go on to the next level of adulthood, and we do what we love. I am so proud of everyone here today because I know this class of future educators, innovators, change makers, and leaders is going to revolutionize the world as we know it for the better. Thank you all again and congratulations class of 2023. Awesome. There we go. This is what I was talking about. I mean, look at that. Whew. 875 bears. Jesus. Graduates, please stand. And gentlemen, please remove your caps. <laughs> so, I remember um, at my graduation last year, um, Adidas, um, Audie is a good friend of mine. He, um, he, he both offered the opening remarks and he said like rise graduates and you know, when the ROTC came out and someone else said the Pledge of Allegiance. I don't know who she was, but I pledge allegiance to the flag still. of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. I remember every single morning when I was at school, um, in the morning announcements say, good morning, Bridgeland, please stand for the pledge. Um, it was, they, they always say that repetitively, like, good morning, Bridgeland, please stand for the pledge or whatever. I was not used to that, honestly. And also, you guys might have seen the, might have heard the choir from the um, Bridgeland Homecoming game. They never cease to amaze me, honestly. And I think I remember the um, the Bridgeland High School band 
perform the the anthem. I think at our at the first and the second um, vlog of football. It was the first one when I hit 700, and the second one when we went against Shadow Creek. Yeah, it's Shadow Creek. I, I still remember we went against Shadow Creek. So the band played the national anthem, and it was the it was the 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 choir that performed the anthem at the homecoming game, and that was my third vlog. I mean, just look at that. They never cease to freaking amaze me, guys. Oh, my God. Starting to get a little teary eyes right now, guys. I'm trying to hang in there, guys. I'm just trying to hang in there. Please be seated. Here goes a Tilly meet again by Reginald Wright. And I loved how the the choir performed until we meet again. It definitely sounds the same as last year's graduation. And I love how Christopher, or should I say Mr. Fiorini, because a lot of students call the teacher Mr. and Mrs. I mean, I'm trying to respect them as much as possible, but I love how Mr. Fiorini does like the, the, the signals like nice and calmly. I mean, you got, I mean, you guys can tell from his body language, he's doing it nice and chill. Just, just trying to make sure that their, their choir performs nicely. I love those vocals so much. The vocals sound a little different in this in this um, part compared to last year. I mean, that is awesome. I mean, wait, somebody, hold on. Someone was really kicking their, 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 their foot outside in the freaking middle of the, whatever. First, Mr. Doctor, uh, Dr. Mark Henry, the superintendent of Cypress Fairbanks Independent School District. I mean, like I said, I'm going to miss Dr. Dr. Mark Henry when he retires. Thank Dr. Henry's leadership team he meant a lot to a lot of students at Cypher ISD. Council. I mean, so many students. He meant a lot to so many. In addition, I'd like to recognize the VIPs of all school volunteers, our school board. First, Mr. President, or Mr. Or your President, Mr. Tom Jackson. Secretary, Mr. Gilbert Sarabia. And our trustees, Ms. Debbie Blackshear. Dr. Natalie Blassengame. And Mr. Lucas Scalion. All these guys were definitely here at last year's graduation. And elementary school principals on stage with us today. Oh, 
I wonder what teachers got selected by the class to read out their names. To all of the Bridgeland High School staff that have joined us today, please stand and be recognized. We appreciate you. Representing Bridgeland High School. I was School expecting staff, the camera to pan at all the staff or whatever. Who were chosen by the senior class to read our graduates' names. What an honor this is for these teachers. There are Miss Laura Braun. I Mr. think I met her. <laughs> Miss Jaylee Carter. I don't Mr. think I met her before. And Miss Sarah Smith. There's uh, Miss Sneed and Thank you all. someone else I know. I don't, I don't know her name, actually. Graduates today for their outstanding academic performance. These three Sorry if I forgot your name, honestly. The distinction of valedictorian and solidatorian. Please stand as I call your name. First, high school of our two solidatorians is Rithvik Kalakuke Nani. Sorry. Rithvik will be a That's a cool University. shot. Our other salutatorian is Avinisha Warsai Shilpi. Who will be attending the University of Texas in Austin. And now, Bridgeland High School's valedictorian is Isha, Isha Sadar. Good for her. Good for her. Isha if you're watching this video, I'm proud of you. In Austin. Will the parents of the valedictorian and two salutatorians please stand and be recognized also? And also, I, I didn't know that there were actually two solidatorians. I thought there was going to be only one valedictorian and solidatorian, and said there was two. It was definitely one and one, and one last year. One and uh, two out of the 875 outstanding Bridgeland High School graduates. Congratulations to all three of you. I still can't get enough of the count of the many, number of graduates. I mean, I think that was like a hundred. This is a hundred more than last year. Those, those graduates that will be serving in our nation's military. So if you're going to be serving in the nation's military, please stand for your supreme responsibility you have accepted. Oh, wow. It's quite a few of them, actually. I think there's one, two, three, four, or five. I think there's six? I think I counted six. Good for them. I wish them the best of luck serving our country well. God bless. We all want to thank you for your service. As a campus, we are very proud of what the class of 2023 has endured, overcame, and Also, I wonder how much money the number of scholarships this um, this school earned this year, because last year was 11 million, and I think 11 million four hundred thousand dollars. I think. So let's see how much how much money in scholarships that this. Many this class earned this year. I'll be surprised if it was more than last year. AP testing. Many of our students have also completed a vocational program where they received industrial certifications and licenses while maintaining the high academic standards that Bridgeland High School has set. Over 51% of Bridgeland High School graduates have earned a cumulative grade point average of 6.0 or higher, giving them the distinction of honor graduate. 2% less than last year, actually. It was 53% last year. This class has earned over $14 million in scholarships and one West Point Military Academy appointment. What? $14 million. That is way more than last year. 116 seniors has been recognized by... Major W for, for this campus, Merit guys. Major, major W. With five National Merit finalists. In addition to these academic accomplishments, 
These seniors provide leadership here at Bridgeland High School as well as in the community. One thing I'm very proud of as I have watched this cl class grow in their ability to give of themselves to help others and to support their classmates in all areas. They truly magnified the qualities of a friend, citizen, and leader. Not only are we proud of you, seniors, you need to be proud of yourself. You have graduated from one of the top high schools in the state of Texas. So hold your head high when you said you've graduated from Bridgeland High School. Win the day. I love how he ended off saying win the day because he and said it last Michael year. Tiho, daughter of Mr. Edward Tiho and Ms. Deidre Hamilton will give the commencement address to the class of 2023. I don't think I've met her before. Good evening once again. My name is April Teo, and I would like to formally welcome you to the Bridgeland High School class of 2023 graduation. To begin this ceremony, I would like to offer a personal thank you to some influential people in my life. First, to Mike and Sandra, thank you for opening a world of new opportunities of which I could have never dreamed possible before. I wouldn't be here without you today. Secondly, to my family for providing close support and guidance during this transitionary period. And finally, I would like to thank our administrative staff and faculty for endeavoring to make our high school experience the best that it could be. Our freshman year was cut short by the COVID-19 pandemic. It ended with uncertainty and fear of the unknown for what the future was going to hold. For the first time after four years, we are finally experiencing a fresh start and a return to normalcy. The most important lesson that I've yep. learned in this time yep. as a senior preparing for adulthood is to live in the moment. I once had a wise customer explain to me that if you worry about what might be, and wonder what might have been, you will ignore what is. Five seconds ago does not exist. Five minutes ago does not exist. And five minutes into the future does not exist yet. The mm. only moment that exists is right now. By letting ideas of what may come affect you, you are wasting precious time that you may never be able to have again. By dwelling on the past, you are only holding yourself back. As teenagers, we are constantly told that these are the best years of our lives. And I think we're all tired of hearing it. But only after realizing the truth behind the sentiment, I've been trying to live every day to the fullest, learn from every mistake, and appreciate the short time I have left with the ones I love before beginning my new life away from home. Many choose to live by the motto, memento mori, which translates from Latin to remember death. By focusing on where life may end, you take yourself out of the present. But rather, I choose to live by the quote, memento vivere, which means remember to live. By focusing on where life begins, you take advantage of the new opportunities that it may have to offer. Though death is guaranteed, so is life. Itch in my ear. Of it and focus it on what is. For the class of 2023, <sighs> our work has just begun and life has truly just started. Take advantage of every moment, learn from every mistake, and live the life you deserve to live. As quoted by Coretta Kent, life is a succession of moments. To live, each one is to succeed. Now, it's our turn to succeed. That was a good speech. I mean, she does have a point. She does have a point. Thank you, April. Will the candidates for graduation please rise? Oh, this is the Dr. fun Henry, part. Will you please come join me at the podium? Rise. <laughs> he definitely said that last year. I remember. Dr. Henry, as principal of Bridgeland High School, it is my pleasure to present to you the senior class of 2023. I mean, look at Sawyer, man. He's definitely ready, bro. The requirements for graduation from this institution and the state of Texas. It is my request that these students be grant graduated and that you, in your capacity as the superintendent of schools, confer upon them the high school diploma with all. I mean, look at their faces. I mean, they're so ready. Pertaining thereunto. Thank you, Mr. Smith. By the authority vested in me by the Texas Education Agency and the Cypress Fairbanks Independent School District's Board of Education. I do hereby confer upon the senior class of 2023 the diplomas of Bridgeland High School with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereunto. Congratulations, graduates. Awesome. Awesome, bro. Awesome. Thank you, Dr. Henry. Graduates, you may now change your tassel from the right side of your cap to the left. Nice that you changed the, the camera at the right time. Wait, hold on. This that that girl did not change his tassel from the um the, the right to the left Everyone side. Everyone except those on the first Whoops. row, please be seated. 
Ms. Laura Braun, would you please come to the podium and present the presentation of the candidates? All right. I mean, like I said, guys, I'm trying to mention as many of you guys as possible because there were quite a few seniors that were in my vlog. So if I don't mention you guys, I apologize. So, I mean, I didn't see Jillian Sims when she walked um, when she walked to her seat. So hopefully, oh, there's there's McKinley, the um, the the captain of the the Bridgeland Bells, right there. And McKinley, if you're watching this, congratulations on graduating, girl. You truly deserve it. And I really hope you really enjoyed your four years as a Bridgeland Bells captain. Teresa Omena Akpabasa. Sawyer Aiden Bradley. Yes, sir, Sawyer. Nicole Brady. Samuel Clay Brown. Here he comes, guys. Lillian Therese Bro. Braylon Mary Shea Brown. Wish you the best of luck, Grace Sawyer. Brown. Awesome, awesome, man. Branston Kwok Hui Bui. Faith Isabella Despain. Corinne Ainsley Dunn. Oh, there's Faith. There she Emily is. Paige Ellis. Connor yeah, Faith. Esler. She's Emily heading to the University of Arkansas. I mean, look at that, guys. Look at her. Farquhar. I'm going to miss her, guys. Diana Fisher. Wish you the Jeremiah best of luck, Faith. Brooke Lynn Hensley. There's Emily Brooke, Faith guys. Hernandez. Anna Emilia I've known her Rivera since middle Gipa. school. I'm gonna Nancy miss her, guys. She was awesome. Definitely awesome. Henry Nuttis Jonas Emmanuel Jordan Martin Blackshear. There's Jonas, Nancy guys. Yes, sir. Jamie Renee Camp. My boy. Hussein K. Conchwala. That's my boy. That's Rithik my boy. Shreyam Kata. Robert Tyler. He was another good addition for Bridgeland basketball, Kinsey. that's for sure. Like Addison a real good Emma addition. There's Kayla Lackey, James another one of the, the, the cheerleaders. Andrew James Lockett. She was another good part of my vlogs. Gabriella Lopez. Like a really good part. She was Daniel another good Peter she was another good cheerleader. Jonathan Stewart Nelson. Jonathan Nancy Nelson, guys. Andrew. Probably Cecilia the goat of Bridgeland football. I mean, I don't know if you guys saw during the, um, oh, watch it, Jonathan. <laughs> um, I don't know if you guys saw during the, um, the, um, I think it was the, the sixth episode of Bridgeland football. It was my last game at Cypher FC Stadium. He actually scored the game winning touchdown. I don't know if you guys saw, but it was, it was legit. I mean, legit guys. I mean. He's he's Cole definitely the Ryan goat, and Hawthorne. I'm gonna miss him dearly. JC Marie he's actually gonna be going out out of the Kaylee state for college, and kind of wish he was in like Lone Star or A and M, but I don't I don't I don't Grace mind. I highly respect Anon him that he's going out of the state, and McKinley I really hope he has a great Kaleski. time, and Alexis hopefully Sarah he Rumbarum. continues having a great football Hussein career. There's McKinley. Tice Logan Rao. Nice. Francisco Just amazing. I mean, like I said, McKinley, if you're watching this, I really hope you have a, a great time at college, and I hope you really enjoy being the captain as the Breslin Bells. Emilio Gerardo Seralde. Nicholas Robert Shen. There's Emilio, guys. There's Emilio. Adam John. Let's go. Another one of my personal favorites from the bowling team. Caitlin Marie he was Bobaka. he was fantastic during that um Matthew regionals Smith. vlog Dylan um, Jason unfortunately Smith. I did not film state I mean I Hannah was planning Rebecca to film state Smith. and region and I'm um, all Luke district Daniels. but I had change of plans Nicole so I apologize Denise for that Smith. Jack Megan Bahar Cole baby Cole yes Cole. sir Gavin Thomas another good Bell. um another good basketball Tyler, player from the Patrick football team Blanc, he was a good Junior. he was a good addition for my Lauren basketball Marie vlogs Bowling. that's for sure Alan, and Bonner, since I'm kind of planning to Michelle, return for Taylor, um, Bray, for both next season's Robert football Lee, and basketball Burn, and possibly soccer, Lene, fingers Bonner, crossed that you'll you'll see them Matthew, in Eric, those um, upcoming vlogs. Cameron, Christine, Cameron. 
Okay. There's McKaylin from soccer. Collier. Yes, sir. Maxwell D. I'm gonna Randall. miss her too, as well as Karen and um, Grace um Brooke and, and, and also Anaya. That's for sure. Tom Anaya Robinson. She's probably the goat David of soccer. That's Cruz. for sure. Carter Joshua Schaefer. Yes, sir. Carter. Julian K. Sims. Kennedy, he was another Smith. good. He was probably the main part Theodore of my basketball Augustus vlogs. Smith. I'm gonna miss him dearly. Hansa there's Jillian. Odoal. Let's go. And there's Dan Kennedy behind Princess her. Strenad. It was cool that. Marie that's awesome that Sauber. they decided to put Jillian Catherine and Kennedy side by side. Luke that Catherine that is awesome. Taylor. I'm and Adrian Jillian Adrian Carter Adrian and Dio. Kennedy. If you're watching this, William um, happy graduation Adrian and. Trump. Yeah, I'm gonna miss you guys, Jillian. Hopefully, I'll be able to see you guys when I return back to the field and on the court, probably in the probably the fall or the winter. Kyle David Campbell. Yeah, Kyle. Maria Jose Cardenas. Where's Dominic? Daniel Maurice Casanas. Yes, sir, Kyle. Dominic Allen Chambers. There he is, guys. Katie James Champion. Aiden Adonis Nathaniel Chapman. Wow. It still sucks to me that pretty much, just want to tell you, all of the boys on the bowling team are literally seniors. So, it it sucks. It, probably the only way I can describe it. Juan Rene Alegria Jr. Yeah, Rene. Christopher Martin Alfred. Yes, sir, Rene. Oh! In the gritty, I see. That is awesome. Angia, Murad, what a way. What a what a way. That David that is. If you're watching this and like Renee, Roberto, that that Martin is that Alvarez. was that was good. Probably the highlight Logan of the video, Jaylen definitely. Ian, there's also Jalen. There's my boy Jalen. Yes, sir. There's Michaela. Michaela Austin. I think she was one of my personal favorite members of the Bridgeland Claw Crew, to be honest. Kayla Marie Keska. There's Kylie Malloy. Madison Millen. She was a she was a good member of the bowling team, and I think she was probably the main leader of the team. And yeah, she was she was quite good. She was quite good at the team actually. Miller. Yeah. Carlo Estefan. So guys, I just want to tell you, we're now at the last teacher calling out the last few bits of graduates, and the emotions are starting to come in, guys. I mean, I'm I'm starting to feel it right now. And I don't know if I can watch the rest of this because I'm I'm starting it's starting to hit me right now. And yeah, where's Aiden White? Where's Aiden, guys? I'm still waiting for Aiden's name to be called. Brandon Taylor Shipley. There's Joshua Swaltz, part of the Daniel the claw Daniel crew Shirt. right there. Yes, sir. Bilal Siddiqui. She was he was an, he was another good part of my um Douglas football Simmons. vlogs to be honest. And Uriah yeah, he he was quite he was like an energetic Patty person Brandon though. Stila. So Jaden he was Ryan another good part Curry. of my vlogs. Alexander Jerry Smith. There's Damon Smith. Yes, sir. Ryan Nicholas Soka. Another good bro of Adam mine. Yes, Bay sir. Soini. Yeah, baby. Javon Solomon. Robert I'm gonna miss you, Damon. Georgia. Aiden Nathaniel White. Yes! Albert Let's West go! Jr. Rod yeah, Aiden! White. Hope Brianna Whitney. Yes, sir, boy! Lauren Elizabeth Wiggins. That's what I'm talking about. Baylor David Williams. Jalen Getting Victoria close to the last Williams. few graduates, guys. Devoin, Deshaun We're getting Williams. close to the end. I don't know if... You guys can see Michelle it right David there. There's an arrow right there. Willis. There's no graduates over there, so Nicole we're Lane just Wilson. about at the end. And oh Lily my God, Lane the emotions Lane. are starting to kick in. I can, I can feel it. I mean, Austin Matthew. Wiggins. I mean, I have a lot to say after this is done. Keeper Mark Nicole Adubi Zeber Eaton. There it is. This concludes the graduates for the class of 2023. Go there Bears. it is, guys. <laughs> Wrapping it off with a nice little dance over there. There's Jonathan right there. Oh my God. I can feel the emotion starting to kick in now, guys. 
Oh, he's moving this out of the way. Ugh. Frick, my chairs isn't moving. There we go. Oh my god, guys. This concludes the presentation of the diplomas. Our closing remarks will be given by Jackson Nichols, son of Dean and Sarah Nichols, and Catherine and Paul Combs. Jackson, please come to the podium for the closing remarks. At the end of Jackson's remarks, would everybody then please stand for the playing of the alma mater? There we go. This is it, guys. Hi, my name is Jackson, and well, this is it. This is the impending doom that marks the end of our journeys. This part is sad because, um, um, sorry to interrupt this speech. I'm going to mute him. Um, this is sad because <laughs> this this made me think of my graduation and this this happened um, during the last couple of weeks when my grandma was alive and she did die she did die of cancer and she was she suffered from a type of lung cancer which spread through her body and affected her brain. Yeah, she did die of cancer on, and she actually died the day after I flew home, which was on June the 5th, which was the day I actually filmed the, the aviation movie. Um, yeah, it's, I mean, like I said, she, she did die of cancer and, and this, and this, this last part just, just makes me remember of it. We got to class, we took what felt like endless tests, wrote impossible papers, and made unthinkable presentations. I'd say it's pretty comparable. But, all this being said, I wouldn't trade my time here at Bridgeton High School for any other. Like Ulysses, all of this wasn't for nothing, and I lied to you. I can't even watch this right now. However, that being said, none of the success we strive for, none of the happiness we are nursing, none of the dreams we need to conquer can be conquered without believing in ourselves. Every single individual in this arena could tell you that you are destined for greatness. But if you don't think it, and more importantly, believe it, none of it matters. I never thought that I'd be one of the people up here delivering speeches that seem like they never end, but <coughs> here I am. And I have a couple of people to, to Mr. Delka for helping me find confidence in myself. <laughs> to Miss Mutchler for always being someone I could talk to. <laughs> to Miss Underwood for being a ball of joy that makes my days so much better. And to Ms. Bajwa for treating me like an independent individual. And the list goes on and on. And if hey, I were to thank Jonathan. everybody, I would run out of time. And they would kick me off the stage. <laughs> but the most important thank you to my family. Especially ones who could not be here today. Because I know that my uncle and my nana are so proud on how far I've made it. But this, this is not the end for me. This is not the end for any of us. It doesn't have to be. We can go on to accomplish great things. We are who we are meant to be. In layman terms, or in bare words, win the day. Thank you. I can't even, I can't even watch this right now. I don't know if I can continue watching this. Please stand for the playing and the singing of our alma mater. Oh my, don't do it. Oh my God.
Look at Carter, man. I knew this was gonna fucking happen. Back the way we came. Parents and guests, please meet your graduates outside the stadium. I wish you all a wonderful summer and the rest of your life. As soon as, as soon as, the, as soon as the alma mater started to play, I knew that I was gonna fucking cry. God damn it! Oh, fuck! Fucking hell! Ah! Fuck's sake! Ah! Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> I mean, I knew I knew I was going to fucking cry as soon as the Omar started to play. God damn it. I, I need to go. I'll, I'll be back in a little bit, guys. Um, I just need some time to just just calm the fuck down because it it just brought me this brought me back some memories from my graduation from last year. So I'll be back in a little bit here. Hey guys, I'm back. Oh, it is much much later after I after the graduation is after the graduation finished and. Let's recap the 2023 Bridgeland High School graduation. All I want to say is, um, it was a good graduation. I really, really love the graduation. <coughs> and mentioned a lot of people I knew from my vlogs I took from last year and this year. And um, yeah, and like I said, I'm going to miss them dearly as much as they'll miss me. And um, yeah, I wish them best of luck in college. And for those of you who were mentioned, I can't wait to see your comments and thoughts on this video. And I'll be more than happy to reply to you. And yeah, that is, I think that's gonna pretty much wrap it up. And yeah, I mean, like I said, during the closing remarks, it, it really did bring me back some memories from my graduation because I mean, like I said, this my graduation happened a couple of days before we went <coughs> god man i just ate before i started recording i mean not recording like the actual reaction but recording this um i literally just ate before i started recording um like i said um my reaction brought back some memories from my graduation and my graduation actually happened a few days before we traveled to michigan to visit my grandma before she passed and yeah, it, it really hit me. It really did hit me. So yeah, I think that's gonna pretty much wrap it up from here. So if you guys did enjoy this, my first reaction video, please make sure to leave it a like and feel free to stay tuned for more content coming up in the future. And of course I am planning to make more flight sim videos in the future, <coughs> as well as some more model reviews. Um, I'm planning to make um, EAS content soon. So be on the lookout for that. So, and I just want to give you guys a little um, note is I'm actually planning to start a full-time job soon 
but don't worry since I'm starting, even though I'm starting a job, I'm still going to make videos, but I'm going to try my best to, to, to stay as active as possible so I can get some content out for you guys. Anyway, guys, if you have enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave it a like and feel free to stay tuned for more future videos. So that'll be it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I'm Lucas Gonzalez. Congratulations to the Bridgeland class of 2023, and I will see you next time.